Hey guys, Alex here again, and today we're unboxing another vintage stereo. And as usual, I don't know what item this is. It appears to be my Panasonic, due to the location, just not to say it's from Barhead, Alberta. Um, or it could be my realistic. But you guys will know ahead of me, because I'll have to make the title of the video. like Christmas all over again. Oh, no, it's not even a Panasonic or my realistic. Fucking A. Couch here. Close my knife so I don't stab myself. Move that. Kind of need my bus pass and my friggin' uh, debit card. Alright, some damn good packaging. You're actually gonna need my knife. One more to add to the pile. And this handle I'm gonna have to tighten up. Alright, I'm gonna test it out. Where's the mouse? Okay guys, so I was just looking at the box here, and another one of these little tiny belts fell out. Like, just, it's just sticking on the side of the box. And I found one of these belts in the bottom of the other stereo, except for the other belt was a little bigger. Okay, um, I mean the stereo seems to be playing, or er, not playing, but both all the spindles and little rubber wheels are turning inside the stereo, so why would this belt come out? Um, give you a close-up of this, sorry. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a really small belt, I'll hold on to it. Uh, maybe if you have an idea why the hell that actually fell out, um, leave a comment. Alright guys, I did some testing on the stereo, and good news, the tape deck actually works, but there's no sound playing through it. I, um, where's the, where's the cassette? I used one of these little cassettes with the headphone jack on it, and the head is not, um, not working, so hoping maybe it's just a wire unplugged or something real simple like that that I can actually fix. So it's uh, electrical work that's needing to be done, I can't do shit, so... Anyways, the stereo, like the way the FM radio sounds is just perfect compared to my other D8443. The, um, I mean the speakers are good, but not as good as these ones. Here, I need to take a, uh, sound test here. The microphone on this camera can't handle too much, so I won't turn it up loud. Location. Hey, surprise, surprise, we're here. <laughs> and for the tape deck, I'll just show you anyways if you feel like looking. No sound, and uh, it's kind of weird. The um, old little rollers and the spindles are all turning, so that's good. Half my damn stereos don't actually have a friggin' uh, spindle that turns, so this is kind of nice for once. Hopefully, this is actually fixable, or with my old parts off the uh, other Magnavox, might be fixable. But, um, no, let's test it on batteries, maybe. Okay, guys, well, it's, uh, 
been about four hours since I was last recording, but as you've seen in the last clip where the tape deck didn't work, um, if I can't seem to get this machine here to work just by maybe finding a loose wire or something, I'm going to take it in for actual technical repair, bring both of them just in case they need parts, and that's the plan with them, so... Sorry for the video quality again today. Roommate's still out of town. But, I will catch you next time. So, please leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe.